Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Please click on the bell icon. You will get all the notification of my new videos and let's get started. Today, I'm going to share with you Tawa Fry Fish. It's very easy to make and it's very tasty and very delicious. And I'm going to use fresh boiled Dover sole filet. The spices from my masala dabba. Other ingredients I'm going to use, I'm going to share with you. And let's start making our delicious tawa fried fish. What I have done with the fish, I washed it with cold water and pat it dry. This is how it looks. It's really nice thin pieces. I always make bread crumb at home. I put two breads into the toaster and then put a small pieces and just give a couple of spin. And it's a perfectly grinder. And this is, so we take it out. This is a fresh bread crumb. This is from two pieces. So this is really good. So we're going to spread the bread crumb. It's kind of cools off. Put the plate on the side. Get another plate. We're going to get all purpose flour. This is a maida, like two tablespoons. And the spices will be according to our taste. Black pepper, salt, and Kashmiri milk. I'm going to use a pomegranate powder, homemade anardana. The reason I'm using it, it's going to give us a tangy flavor. And please watch my video I have posted on my channel. So this is a nice powder. Get a fork and we're going to mix it well. So once all the spices are nicely combined, so this is going to be our coating. Two eggs. So we're going to beat it well. So once egg is nicely beaten, we're going to get the fish pieces to place it into our mixing ingredients. And this is how it's gonna look. I'm going to get another piece, place it on our dry ingredient. Once it's all nicely coated, place it on the side and we're going to keep continuing. This is how it's gonna look. Transfer into the egg mixture one time and then we're going to shake off the excess egg and we're going to bring this one into the breadcrumb and we're going to put it in the breadcrumb and then turn it over this is going to give us a perfect coating of breadcrumb once it's all done we're going to place it like this so i'll show you one more if you look at this this is how it looks so i'm going to finish up doing all the pieces the same way I have my tawa ready and we're going to start the gas and keep it medium. I'm going to use olive oil and you can use any vegetable oil. Good enough oil so it can cover the bottom of our tawa. So we're going to tilt the tawa just like this. The griddle is nicely hot. We're going to place the pieces on top of it just like this. Just tilt it like this, so the oil can cover all the fish pieces. This fish is so delicate, it does not take that long to cook. And we're going to cook like three minutes on this side, and on the other side, we're going to cook two more minutes. Within five minutes, this will be well cooked. Cooking for three minutes, I'm going to turn the fish pieces over. Look at this. Very nicely cooked. So now we're going to cook another three minutes on this side. Five to six minutes, they will be nicely cooked. This is how it looks after two minutes. And we're going to give one minute on this side. So altogether like six minutes. One more minute and I will take it out. So another minute of cooking on this side. Now I'm going to Take out. Keep placing the fish pieces.
I will do the same thing with other pieces. I have a last batch to go, then I have another batch. It's very easy to make and it's very tasty and very delicious. You can make a fish sandwich, you put it in the bread and you can enjoy it. Or you can eat as an appetizer. Please let me know how it turned out for you. And like always, like, share and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and have a good day. Bye bye.